just in a, again, I'm going to ask, in a moral sense, in the run-up to Christmas, etc., if people can't get things delivered to loved ones, that must weigh heavy on people's minds, no? Well, let, let's put this into perspective, Patrick. So our members delivered to 32 million addresses six days a week, parcels and letters. They were out there connecting the country day in, day out through the, through the pandemic, putting themselves in, in risk by meeting the customers on the doorstep mm. day in, day out. Now... Clearly, if our members are in dispute with the employer, they're going to want to take action when they can actually bring the greatest pressure to bear. Okay. Now, the, the responsibility here is to come to the bargaining table and negotiate well, what is Well, this is it. Uh, what, and, what's and been the, offered, then? The, the CWU is willing to meet with the chief executive tomorrow, over the weekend and all next week... Have you not met already? Yes, we, indeed we have, but unfortunately those negotiations are broken down. Why? Why and, did they break uh, down? And Simon Thompson, the CEO, has mm. walked away from those negotiations. OK, fine, but what was, what was your demand? Well, he's, he's made an offer to us that's unacceptable. We well, what's your demand? Well, our demand is to get a reasonable and fair Which is agreement. What? Well, job security. Right. No compulsory redundancies. Right. right, which which in, if we're talking about the iconic Royal Mail here, yeah. 115,000 workers. There's no reason. To and you have, don't want any of uh, them to be sacked, for any? Absolutely not. No, these people. Many of our members have worked for. But, it's a bit, but in businesses, people come and go. People come and go. You know, this is. Is it not an unreasonable? I mean, yeah. look, I'm not being funny, but I'm pretty sure everyone in this office and everyone watching at home now would lo would love it if someone said, right, you can't. We we're, we're ring fencing your job. But it's not the way the world works, is it? Well, within Royal Mail, we've never had compulsory redundancies and there's no need to have them in the future. The attrition, the turnover, the retirements, um, got an ageing workforce. There's no, re there's no need whatsoever for compulsory redundancies. Do you want a pay rise as well? We want a fair and reasonable pay rise. Which is yeah. what? Well, if the 9% that Royal Mail claims they're offering for 18 months was genuine, was a full 9% over that 18 months, we would take that, we would take that no problem. And that's been batted away, has it? Well, it's not 9%. It's 2% that was imposed during the summer from April this year. Right. Another 3.5% when an agreement's reached, not backdated, and a measly 1.5% from April next okay. year. Uh, right. The reality is we're not asking for, for you know, a, a, a ransom here. We're asking for a reasonable and fair pay agreement that our members can embrace. And would that cost the taxpayer anything? No, because it's a private company. And here's the point. a key point of difference. Exactly Absolute like key point. Yeah. I'm... Royal Mail declared record profits okay. of £758 million in May alone. I get they, that can, they can afford it.